today's podcast, we are going to talk about the current state of the Minnesota Vikings through the first six weeks of this season. The Vikings are 28th in total defense, 30th in pass defense, 31st in scoring defense. They are currently last in the NFC North Division. They are currently tied for last place in the NFC Conference. The Vikings have no identity. The GM and the head coach clearly don't have a solution. The season is over. It's time to clean house and look ahead for the future, starting with Rick Spielman. He's done some nice things, no doubt. But overall, what has that resulted in? In fact, the biggest hindrance to Rick Spielman is himself because too many times he has shown through his actions that he values more so wanting to appear as Slick Rick or a mastermind instead of doing what's necessary to win. Musical chairs, the half-assing, the experimenting with the offensive line, valuing quantity of draft picks over quality, trading down as much as he can to stockpile on 6th and 7th round draft picks to see which one hits. Getting cute. After going through the Blair Walsh project, knowing that this man cost you a playoff game, Two years later, Kai Forbath delivered you the biggest kick in the history of this franchise against the Saints in the divisional round. The following offseason, you, Rick Spielman, told Kai Forbath to fuck off. Screw you. I want the sexy leg out of the SEC, Daniel Carlson, and it cost you a win against the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. And loyalty. Oh, my God. Anthony Barr, I am on record saying that I would give Anthony Barr when he was going to be a free agent. I was on record saying, first of all, he would not be on the team if I was GM. But if he was to be here, I would give him a maximum of $5 million per year. He committed to the Jets. Okay, fine. Okay, we'll see you later. Oh, he changes his mind. He wants to come back to the Vikings. And these dudes, Rick Spielman and Mike Zimmer, they treated Anthony Barr like he was Aaron fucking Donald. Let's do whatever we can to bring him back. All of that. Rick Spielman has shown that he values all of that over winning. The Minnesota Vikings deserve a general manager who takes his job and the franchise's ability to win seriously. We now go to Mike Zimmer. We have reached the ceiling of Zimmer as a head coach. We know exactly what we're getting from this guy. We're not going to win anything as long as he's around. Why? Because we've seen over the last five straight years a continuous pattern of epic meltdown starting in 2016. You started the season off 5-0. and You fell to 8-8. Eight and eight. Your team quit against the Indianapolis Colts. And I said, you know what? That's not a good look. No reason to panic, but I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Let's see what happens the following year. 2017, your team is rolling. You have the number one defense in the league. You have the chance to host and win the first ever Super Bowl championship for the history of this franchise at your house, U.S. Bank Stadium, NFC Championship game after going up 7 to nothing. You guys remember how you felt watching that game? It was preceded by three hours straight of watching this and saying to myself, this was a waste of my fucking time. Your team did not show up. 2018, week 17 against the Chicago Bears. You have a chance to make it to the playoffs, all you have to do is win. In fact, the Chicago Bears, they gave you a layup. They rested half their starters at one point in that game. You played your whole starters, and you were still no match for the Chicago Bears. 2019, the wild card game against the Saints, it was great. It absolutely was. But then the following week, your team quit against San Francisco. We then get to 2020. Right now, you are 1-5. in five. We are in year 7. There is nothing else to see here. In fact, the reason why I am so harsh on Mike Zimmer is because you need to keep that same energy. The false bravado, the arrogance, the stubbornness, the just, uh, it's my way or the highway. Who the fuck do you think you are? Leslie Frazier. I did this podcast long after Leslie Frazier, but scouts honor. I sat there and said to myself, you know what? He's not the right coach, but I was never like, fuck Leslie Frazier, blah, 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 blah. Mike Zimmer is basically Brad Childress on steroids. The Minnesota Vikings deserve a head coach who is innovative, who can adapt, and someone who can consistently have his team prepared to play in big games. You know what? Any team, they can win the Super Bowl. Whether you win the Super Bowl or not, I'm not going to eat your lunch for that. But can you be competitive consistently? I think that is a great fucking baseline to have if you're going to be a head coach in the NFL, especially considering the talent that this man has had. Mike Zimmer needs to be gone. And then, finally, to end with Kirk Cousins, 
I still stand by what I said to some degree. I think over in San Francisco, he would have a lot more success. But you know what? In the interest of guys like Justin Jefferson, because anybody with common sense can tell, it is clear for this franchise, Justin Jefferson is way more valuable than Kirk Cousins. It wasn't fair to a guy like Stephon Diggs. It's not fair to a guy like Justin Jefferson right now. We need a quarterback who can operate under a larger margin of error. It is time to clean house right now while you're in the bye week. There's no reason for these individuals to stick around after the bye. It is time for the Wilf brothers to step up because if you leave it up to Spielman and Zim, they will say, oh, you know, we can turn this thing around. Zimmer, let me stab a couple of teddy dolls. That will rile the team up. And Spielman be like, oh, you know what? Next year we can turn this. Going back to the wild card win against the Saints, in which case your team then proceeded to quit against the San Francisco 49ers. They quit. It was so embarrassing. But for the sake of Vikings media, oh, my God, continuity, this is important because they just beat the Saints last week. It doesn't matter that the team quit the following week. So let's throw them a fucking parade. It is time for the Wilf brothers to step up and interrupt. I appreciate the fact that up to this point, you have paid your guys, you have paid the GM and the head coach to lead the way, and we're going to get out of your way, do your thing. It is time to interrupt. You have a chance to have potentially a generational quarterback. You cannot allow this regime to stick around and fuck that up too. Fire them all right now. Replace Rick Spielman with an Altoid for all I care. Replace Mike Zimmer with the blackest part of my ass for all I care. And cut Kirk, trade Kirk, don't care. And for those that are saying, you know what? Oh, that's going to ruin our chance. We can go 1-15 and and get a shot at Trevor Lawrence. No, it's not. You know why? Here's how you guarantee that you will go 1-15. and The season is over. Start Sean Mannion the rest of the way. Sean Mannion, he's the savior. And you know what? Trade whatever assets you got, Harrison, Hitman, Smith, and whatever players have value. And see what the young rookies and the young players put them out there on the field to see what they can do. That is how you tank. That is how you go 1-15. in 15. This shit is over. Zimmer, Spielman, Cousins, get the fuck out. We do this three times a week. Mediocre Best Sports Podcast with Realistic Randy. Check me out on Twitter at Realistic underscore Randy. Facebook at Realistic Randy. Next podcast is Wednesday. We'll see you then.